we're making a recipe. We're making a recipe that's really good for our skin. A cucumber dill, a creamy cucumber dill, a creamy dill sauce for a cucumber salad, cucumber and radish. Radish breaks up mucus, cucumber helps with the skin, and dill helps with digestion. It was my mother's favorite. I feel her around me. We're gonna have shallots and garlic and salt, and the basis of our creamy sauce is water, lemon juice, and some cashews and salt, right, and garlic. So it's going to be very easy. It's going to be very delicious. It's wonderful as a side salad or it's the meal, and it will last in the refrigerator for three days easy. I'd say three days, but you're gonna to wanna to eat it right away. So don't worry about that. Um, so all I have to do is, let's see, I'm going to, um, as far as, if you don't have a Nutribullet or a, or a Vitamix or a food processor, because you could do this in a food processor or do the sauce, um, I would recommend that instead of cashews, you use, let's say, an almond cream cheese, like this one from Kite Hill, and it will give you the creaminess without having to blend the cashews. And I could do that right now if I want to, or I could make you guys the cashew sauce. What do you want? You can't answer, I'm gonna have to decide. So I guess first I'll start prepping the vegetables and then we will uh, talk about the sauce. We're gonna talk about the fact that these flowers, from, these flowers, these cucumbers from the farmer's market actually have flowers on the end. Do you see that? I couldn't resist. How can you resist flowers on the end of your cucumber? Right now, I feel like peeling. Sometimes I feel like it's easier for me to digest, chew when the peel is gone, but there's a lot of vitamins and minerals, so it really depends on how thick the skin is um, and what you're in the mood for. That's really it. Keep it or leave it or lose it. <laughs> Ugh, it smells so good and it's so refreshing. So I'll save the little flour. We could use that as a garnish. And one more cucumber. This could serve two as a side salad or one as a main. Add more, add less. I'll show you the sauce. Wash the radish. Do you see how beautiful? Look at that. It's so, look at that. Will you look at that? Look at that. It's just so pretty. If you are what you eat, we are beautiful. We are live. We are colorful. That's the premise of raw food, right? Is that we are what we eat. Do we want to be dull, white, fleshy, or do we want to be live, colorful, and vibrant? Dead, white, and fleshy, not me. I'm going for, I don't think I'm gonna mix this purple into the creamy sauce. I, I, it's just too pretty, I have to say. This, this purple calls for a vinaigrette, not something that's gonna cream it up and cover it. So I will take that into consideration. Mm-hmm. Spicy. Um, I'll use my Paris bowl. Whoa, nice and spicy. Radish breaks up mu mucus, so if you've eaten too much um, cheese, dairy. Oh, I'm just gonna mix it all in. This is not gonna be that particular, but it is gorgeous. I could save a couple pieces of the radish for the top. This is how easy it's gonna be. I even could do a bottom of the bowl dill sauce, and I think I don't know, how many of you, can you post below, how many of you do not have a food processor, a Nutribullet, or a blend tag, or anything that could blend the cashews? If you don't, I wanna know, because that will alter my future recipes. Because I really do want everyone to be able to make this. So if you have <coughs> a machine, you'll be able to make this and you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, 
I still want you to be able to make it. So what do you say? So I could do a bottom of the bowl. I'll do it. Let's see if I have enough cream cheese. I don't, I have like a tablespoon. Let's see how we do. The question is cashews or the cream cheese. I don't know, I'm gonna have to say the cashews. The cashews are gonna win, and I took my usual bullet to Florida, I love it, and I need to get another one for here. So we're gonna do my small carafe of my Vitamix. I highly recommend you get a Nutribullet if you don't have one. They're not as expensive as this, and they do the same job. So quarter of a cup of cashews, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to be walking away from the camera today. A little over a quarter of a cup of water. We're going to use the juice of a lemon, half a lemon, lime. Use whatever citrus you have. Don't be picky. If you don't have it, continue to make this dish and use apple cider vinegar. If you don't have cashews, you can use macadamia nuts or hemp seeds. I like to give you substitutions because there's no excuses, right? Uh, that's half a lemon. I'm going to use a little quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to put in a clove of garlic. I will not blend in my dill because if I blend in the dill, it will be a mint green sauce. And I want it to be a white sauce with, mint, with green flecks, like little sprinkles. So you fold in. When you're done making the cashew cream to your liking, this is a big garlicky piece, and my mama would love it. Um, my mom passed three years ago in August, but it's not yet that. It's been a little over two years, and I feel her helping me in so many different ways. The onion, the shallot or onion, is going to be chopped in with teeny little pieces. In raw food, the smaller, the better teeny little pieces and mixed in with the cucumber and radish. So that's how easy this dressing is. I could put like a half a date in for flavor balancing if we want to. Let me see if I want that. I'm not sure. I'll tell you why we won't need sweet um, because cashews by nature have a sweetness. So oh, it's the perfect consistency. So happy. Mm hmm. Lovely. Needs a little more blending and a little more salt. Fantastic. So it's a half a teaspoon of salt in total. Whoever wants to transcribe this, I love you. <laughs> um, could use a little more lemon. So I'll use the whole lemon. It will just make it a little more liquid. Okay. Da -da, back at the blender. I will be right back. Want to hear a crazy great idea I had? Let's say you wanted to feed someone who doesn't mind eating or likes eating potatoes. You make the salad, you boil potatoes, you cut them up and mix them in and you have a gorgeous cucumber dill potato salad. I'm just feeling so creative. I feel so happy that I did decide to go to the farmer's market. Sometimes I think I'm not going to because then I'll have all this food, then I need to make the food, then of course I always make a video when I make food, then I need to, not always, but I like to because sharing is caring, and then I have the food and the dishes and um, sometimes it's a good idea to do other kinds of work where you need to write or do something else, but this is my joy and it's amazing, perfect. Riding to the farmer's market on my bicycle I think kickstarts creativity for me. So it's that easy. I certainly would probably cut up some more cucumber, but I'm just gonna show you this dish um, for a single serving. And I'm cutting the shallot. Use onion, purple onion. White, when they're raw, tend to be a little too strong. I like yellow. Uh, most, most of the time when I'm eating raw onion, it's purple. But anything's doable. That's one small shallot going in. 
and to feed more people to bulk up this dish take some cabbage and shred it finely slice it and put it in cabbage is filled with fiber it's an inexpensive so if you're trying to maximize your budget maximize the amount of food feed more people have more for yourself add fiber add kale tinyly tinyly processed or really chopped up kale chopped or processed uh, shredded uh, cabbage you could add celery you could add even apples like get more fiber in your diet if you're concerned about getting your money to go farther and fill you and keep you satisfied so you don't eat weird things i'm just using so it's two cu cucumbers one radish one little shallot and it's very saucy um it's saucy it's saucy like me it's sassy mm. so good now this sauce three to five days without the veggies so i recommend keeping the sauce separate from the veggies and mixing them as you're ready to use. Black pepper would be amazing in here. Will be, because I'm gonna add it. You could add some cayenne, amazing. And what happens is, is after you put your dressing on gorgeously hydrating vegetables, you will lose some flavor. So feel free to make this stronger and saltier. And what I do is I just add the sauce and then if I need to add some seasoning or salt, I do that after. I'm gonna put this in a pretty little bowl. And what a beautiful thing to bring to a party. This is a raw dish that nobody would ever know it's not dairy. It's not giving us mucus or clogging up our system. It's clean, clear, and bright, which is everything that we do over here. And I will take I must take a piece of this radish to show you the color on top. I will take a picture so you can see up close. And I love you guys. And it is my complete pleasure to share these uh, little rec recipes and inspiration with you. We have the flour from the, I could get flowers from my garden. We could put a little tomato on top, but here it is everybody. Bon appetit, get your grains on. Hashtag no excuses. Yes, it's vegan. Yes, it's organic. Yes, it's raw, but hashtag let's just call it food. I love you guys, and I will see you for my next recipe. Stay tuned. Here we go.